Let's learn to make an SVG file. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama. And today we are going to make a super basic SVG file using two shapes in Inkscape. So if you've never used Inkscape before, this is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial. And if you have any questions, I am always active in my comments to answer them for you. If you want to download Inkscape, you can find that link below as well as the link below to my blog with more resources and those free SVG files that I'm making today. So let's get started. So let's just briefly go over what is Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program for your Mac or your PC. They do not have an iPad version that is similar to like Adobe um, Illustrator. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. And it's free. So they are constantly adding things to it, all different things. It's an open source, so people can add on different like um, add-ons to it, tutorials, things like that. Um, but if we want to download, you hit download now. The newest one is from May of this year, which I have not updated, so I'm going to do that before we get started um, so that I have the most up-to-date one to show you how to use it. And we're gonna do a really basic SVG file today. Um, and then from there, you can kind of do whatever, make whatever you want with it. So to update, I do have a Mac. I'm gonna go over to the Mac and I am going to download it. This is the newest version. I just uh, downloaded this. So this is kind of a new opening thing for me. I have not updated in a while. So you can change your canvas here. I just keep mine solid white. And then your keyboard, again, I just keep everything pretty standard, what it comes with, because that's what I learned on. I'm gonna keep it colorful. You can toggle on dark and light if you have a Mac, and then we're gonna hit save. So now it's, you know, you can contribute or fund, and then you can hit thanks. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit new document. This is kind of what's been popping up before. So they do have other things over here, like socials or video, um, but I am just gonna go and do new document. All right, and so this is where you're starting. If you're making an SVG file and you're saving it, anything that's on the white is what's going to save in the preview. Now, if you create beyond the white, it's still gonna show up when you upload into Cricut Design Space. It's just the preview here that's not gonna, anything outside is not gonna show up. So if you made like a really big flower, so like for example, if I grabbed this and my petals went off to the side like that, you would still see the yellow, the half, but you just wouldn't see the full petal. But when you go and upload it, it would be there. Let's make, a mushroom and I'm gonna make a set of mushrooms that you can download for free on my website but I want to show you how to make a mushroom with really basic shapes this is a super beginner tutorial to this so I just want you to take your time and play around but let's just go ahead and get started with a basic mushroom so over on the side panel you have your select tool your nodes you have a shape builder tool and then you also have just basic shapes off to the side what I'm going to do is we're just gonna use a circle today to get started. And to do that, I'm going to click and drag out. So I am using my mouse, which mine is just my fingertips on my laptop, um, but you're just gonna click and drag. If you wanna make a perfect circle, you would hold control and drag out. So just keep that in mind. Now here we have a circle. Now you can just do this and kind of grab it on that circle and then make it a half circle. Okay, or we can play around with nodes. So let's go ahead and grab our circle out. And for our mushroom, we want a kind of like a basic, you know, shape. Now I hate when this happens. And if that happens and you cannot get it to connect, so if I zoom in, you see it's not there. You just need to go up to end to make it 360, a full circle, and it'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to path, and then I'm going to go object to path. And you'll see that those two squares and that circle on the side disappeared. But if you go over to the side and you go into your node tool, now you'll have four squares. I'm gonna delete this bottom one and I just clicked on that one node and I'm gonna hit delete. And then what you can do is you can play with this. So you can bring it up and you'll see things start moving around. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight over these two. I just clicked and dragged over them. And I'm gonna go up here to this straight lines and I'm gonna click it. And that's gonna cause a straight line between the two. From there, you can just kind of play around. You can bring them down more. You can move them in. You can move one in. You can also click on the actual line and move that around if you want to. So there's a lot that you can play with. And my suggestion is just to play around and get used to kind of toggling through. Now, again, this is a very basic tutorial. So we're making a very basic mushroom. And again, I'll have the free set over on my blog um, to download. 
But I want you to just get the hang of playing with shapes because that's really how you're going to start building your own SVGs. So now I'm going to go in and I went over to my rectangle and I'm going to put that right in the center. Now, obviously, we don't want the same color, so I'm just going to change the color at the bottom. If you're looking for more colors, I just go on there and then I scroll with my two fingers on my mouse pad to see more colors. And we're going to change the colors at the end. Um, I'll show you a little trick that I like to do. So now I'm going to go back into the select. I'm going to double click actually. And you'll see here you have that circle, but this time this rounds the corners of your rectangle. So unlike on our circle where the circle kind of made it into a half circle or three quarters, this one just rounds the corners. So I'm going to round my corners ever so slightly, going back into select, and I'm going to move it up. Now we're going to do that same thing where I go path and object to path. And now when I click, I have more of those squares, right? And I am going to grab just these three and I'm just going to kind of move them out. We're going to give this mushroom a little bit more of a, like a shape, right? And there we go. I like the way that that looks. And what we can do is actually, I feel like it's a little wide. I'm going to go back into my select. I'm just going to make it a little skinnier. And now what we can do is I'm going to grab it and I have my align panel over here. If you don't have that up, you just go to object and then way at the bottom align and distribute and that'll pop that off for you. So I want this to come up just a little bit. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to move it. And I have my um, snapping on. If you have snapping on, you can turn it on and off over in the top right corner. And I'm just going to move mine up so that's not snapping anymore. I'm highlighting over both and then I'm going to center. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be centered. Um, that's totally up to you. And I am going to like I like this, but obviously I don't really need this because we want this on top. And if you want this on top, you can go path, you can go object and raise to top. There's also these ones right here. And like that looks great, but we don't need, you see how the pink goes into the mushroom. We don't really need that. And so I am going to duplicate this. You can just right click and duplicate and it'll stay right on top. And I'm going to highlight over both. I'm going to go back up to path and I am going to difference. So now that cut off the top and it's not there anymore. And so when I go to line these up, there's no overlap. So that's great if you're using like vinyl or paper. Um, you know, a paper, you might want to have that top up there. But in general, for most SVGs, we don't want all of that layering. So now we can go in. And so for mushrooms, we can add on some little circles, right? And we want these to usually be like a white. Just going to make it a different color so we can see it. And again, I'm just going to duplicate and you can make these bigger or smaller. OK. And if you want to stay the, the actual circle, remember control. I'm just going to pop one off here, here, a little smaller. OK, and I'm just duplicating. I'm using the shortcut, which for me is command D. But now we see like we don't want them obviously hanging off of our mushroom. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, select same, fill and stroke. That's going to grab all of these. You can also individually grab them. Go to path and then go to union. And now this is basically like what weld does in Cricut Design Space. So now these are all one object. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this again. And then we're going to grab those circles just like we did with the stem of the mushroom. Then nope, we're going to go path and we are going to go intersect, intersection. And now intersection is going to leave us with just those circles that were overlapping. So it's just the same as intersect in Cricut Design Space. So now let's just go ahead and change our colors here for our mushroom. All right, so that white and then maybe brown. I don't like love these colors, but they do look mushroomy. All right. And there is our mushroom. So we only used two shapes here technically to make this. And now if you want to change any of your sizing, you can go in, you can change it and make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. But we only used really two shapes. Now, if you wanted to make this like a little more rounded, you can always grab that. You just have to fix these. Or you can even come in, right, and we can grab another circle, 
just change our little color here, maybe to like this. So it's a little bit darker than the one above, but a little bit lighter than the other one. And then this is where you're gonna to wanna to turn back on snapping so that everything kind of lines up, right? And now for this one, what I would do is I would, I want this to go into our stem, right? But we want this to be cut out. So this I would move up. That looks great. I would even give myself a little bit of a rounding here like that. And then here, you're just gonna want to, again, duplicate, okay, and then cut into those white circles. So you go path, difference. You're actually gonna duplicate, and then you're gonna subtract into this bottom one as well, difference. Okay, so now we have that cut off. We have our top piece. And you'll see here, if you go on to, well, this we need to change into a path, so you go objects path. But if you go here and you go into the nodes right down here, you zoom in. There's a few here that we don't really need. So we're going to go ahead and grab those and delete them. Same on the white. So just make sure you're checking this when you're doing it because you don't want to have like a bad cut. So that's my only, my only other suggestion is going in, you zoom in, you look. So now if you don't want this to overlap again, you'll just duplicate, take these two object, you go path and difference, and then that way there's no overlapping on anything, and you have a cute little mushroom. So now what I would do is you would go save, right, and we want to go, and we want to save it, I, it says guest from extension, I'm just gonna keep it as an SVG, and we'll say mushroom one, and I'm gonna hit save. And now you can look at the sizing here, up here is the sizing, I like to go in inches, maybe because I'm in the US, um, and right now it's six by four. So if you do want to change anything, you can change it here. And then we'll double check it over in Cricut. So let's say, oop, make sure everything is highlighted. And we're going to change our size up here. So make sure it's locked, just like in Cricut. You can change it here. And then, right, there we go. We're gonna hit save one more time. And now let's go over into Cricut. And let's upload our mushroom. Hit continue, hit continue. And we see here, okay, so this is a problem, right? So we have this line. So that means that something is wrong with our SVG. I'm actually really excited that it did this. So we go here, right? We see that there's something wrong. Let's go back over into Ink Inkscape. And then I even knew something was wrong too because of the way that the box is around it. So I'm gonna go to path, I'm gonna go to object to path, and I'm not seeing anything weird on it because there's no extra nodes but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna is we're gonna grab this I just want to see what happens when I go like this I'm gonna send it to the back I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna intersect it so I'm gonna go path intersect and now it's fine so you see that the box around it is only where it's it's like perfect so now let's go back and change our color again okay I'm gonna save it one more time Let's go into Cricut again. We can delete our old one, upload. And now those lines are gone. You don't want those lines there because that means that it's gonna cut there. So there's nothing there, but your Cricut's gonna take that blade and it's gonna go right across. And so now you see everyone has their little mushrooms off on the side and you created one in like five minutes. So you don't have to be paying for this. So then you can just go in we can even change our colors to match like one of these if you wanted to, right? So we got that pretty much that same thing here. This person did like a pink top, so you could do pink, white's fine, and then here we could change it to another darker pink like this, like lighter pink. Right. Look at that. All right, and you're able to change your sizing in here as well. And that's how you make an SVG file in Inkscape. So now when I go to hit cut, there it is. I don't, what? What? That was a glitch. Um, and now, okay. And now when I ungroup it, it's, that is bizarre. Okay, now it, now it's totally fine. That was so weird. 
Okay, so now when I go and I cut everything, you'll see everything is on its own layer and you can cut everything out. Thank you for joining me as we made an SVG file. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please leave me a comment below saying what you want to see next. Like this video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to my channel for new crafty videos, and share this with one of your friends who wants to learn how to make their own files. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.